Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics AX R3 Demo VM. Uh, we're going to cover some of the elements that were set up for the uh, for a typical overview demo. Uh, and before we get into some of those elements, what I'd like to do is just to cover some of the setup that you may want to do on this uh, VM. So the first thing is is that looking at the um, uh, batch jobs. We've created three batch jobs for alerts, workflow, uh, and email distribution. So rather than having to go into the AOT and set up a uh, tutorial uh, for the workflow engine, all you have to do is to select the workflow, um, come in and change the status from withholding to waiting. And uh, at this point in time now, the workflow engine will be running and uh, as you go through the demos for purchase recs or other workflows, they should fire automatically. Similarly, if you're going to do alerts um, and emails for uh, alert-based processing, change-based alerts, uh, you may want to turn on these uh, batch jobs as well. A little bit more on the AIF processing later. Um, one other thing that's very typical for uh, the demo is we have created a logo library in SharePoint so that you can add your uh, prospects logo. Um, uh, one thing that I uh, would like to point out is that on the VM, if you go to Windows Explorer and go to this C drive, you'll notice that there are a number of different directories here. And on these directories, uh, one of which is a demo files directory. And in the demo files directory, we have um, subdirectories where we've put in backup documentation around some of these uh, functional uh, changes that we've made on the VM. So uh, I've stored a logo in this logo directory here. So we'll just use this to uh, upload to SharePoint and then we will hook this in to the enterprise portal and uh, so what we're going to do is just get a copy of the URL for that file and then we're going to go into site settings and the uh, title description and icon for the uh, look and feel section there and just paste in our uh, logo and uh, maybe just put the name of the uh, company in there. This is for our friends at Hewlett Packard. And uh, so we configure, uh, customize the uh, logo for uh, this area. So look for that logo directory to uh, easily load your uh, logos into um, the SharePoint directory. Okay, so um, looking at the um, Role Center, the primary persona that has been configured for overview and technology demos, as well as the primary role for accounting demos, is our friend Sarah, the CFO. Um, one other thing uh, before you get going is you might notice that on the desktop of uh, Sarah's uh, session here is a remote desktop login for Ken. Uh, when we log in as Ken, uh, the primary reason we do that is so that we can start Link. And uh, so we fire up Ken's uh, remote desktop session, make sure that Link is running between uh, he and Sarah, so that when we get back to Sarah's role page and uh, we look at her key performance indicators, we have a presence icon in link uh, in this jewel on the uh, uh, EBITDA KB, um, KPI is uh, set up so that you can then go ahead and send a question to Ken uh, so that you can do your uh, link demo here. But the big thing is to make sure that you uh, fire up a session with Ken to make sure that his link is active. Uh, before you load Sarah's roll page or that uh, icon will not be active uh, on Sarah's roll page. And uh, by the way, just uh, 
for efficiency's sake, when I do the uh, demo for Link, I usually load a role center for Ken in a different language to illustrate the uh, um, 42 uh, countries uh, with 36 languages that we support out of the box. So, um, so that's the setup with um, Ken. So again, uh, make sure Ken and his link are loaded so that the presence uh, indicators in link work on the KPI icons. Um, there are uh, links built into hyperlinks built into the KPIs uh, where it'll take you to an enterprise portal screen. Uh, this one will take you to the uh, finance team site in SharePoint. This one here will take you to the collections workbench in um, AR. So a um, couple of the other things that we have pre-populated uh, for this is there is the uh, um, um, some um, personalizations done with uh, the released products. So if we went into a uh, detailed form for the released products and this is where you would typically go in and hide and show fields and uh, maybe we get to the next step of uh, going to personalize this form so that you could change a label move some of the fields around perhaps even add a new field uh, from the personalization um, we have set up a couple of configurations uh, that you can load uh, from Sarah or if you're in a different persona and you want to retrieve from another user that being Sarah but here from Sarah's page we can have a configuration of an engineer which uh, has simplified this form uh, tremendously so that when you launch this uh, maybe the backstory is you've got an engineer who's always getting himself in trouble you want to simplify his form to have just read only uh, capabilities with just the right amount of information uh, for that persona um, that has been set up one for an engineer with two tabs the simple configuration does not have the engineer um, action pane nor the engineer fast tab here okay and um, uh, you will notice that we have the um, Enterprise portal is set up. Uh, we also do have two personas for uh, the uh, vendor and the customer self-service. Um, so if you uh, look at the customer self-service, there is a catalog in there. Um, very uh, rudimentary, but you do still have a catalog with prices. Uh, the user ID for the customer self-service is Benjamin and um, the user for the vendor portal is Aaron H so if you wanted to launch the uh, vendor portal you just uh, hold down the icon with a shift in the right click run as a different user and as I mentioned Aaron H is the uh, persona that is set up for uh, the vendor portal you can then log in here uh, as Aaron H and then she has access uh, just to the uh, uh, Fabricam supplier and then uh, has access to the request for quotes, the invoices, um, and uh, purchase order confirmations and so forth. So that is the setup for uh, vendor portal. And again, customer portal is the persona of Benjamin. So uh, just to get uh, get you started, the um, uh, setup then for uh, this first part of the overview demo with navigation and role centers, uh, we'll have another video for the self-service BI and productivity tools.